Good afternoon. I'm Ryan Pettigrew. I'm here with Brock Ormond. Thank you so much for joining us. We're here for another Your TV broadcast of Ontario Football Conference football. Here it's the Quinney Skyhawks and the Hamilton Hurricanes. A rainy day today, Brock. But uh, what can we expect? Yeah, well, you're right, Ryan. It is uh, quite the uh, the wet, uh, damp Sunday afternoon, first of October, though. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a great test for the Quinney Skyhawks uh, off camera to start the game. And they, we are underway here as the Skyhawks started out. They're going to get the ball first on offense. Good run here and a good push right off the bat for I think Tice Hurst, number 22. And he was a good man in the back end for the Skyhawks. Last 60. And there you're seeing the designed run for the quarterback there. Powerful runner. Yeah, he gained uh, quite a few yards out of that. And that's exactly what I was talking about, right? Especially in these rain games, when you have a mobile quarterback, especially, like, it's it's almost like a smaller Cam Newton with him, right? You said he's big. He's a big guy, and you saw just now how fast he can move. So they've got those design runs. You see him take the snap, and he barely even fakes the pass before he's off and running, getting his feet moving with the ball. So that'll be something to watch for today. It makes it really hard on a defense when you have a quarterback that can throw and pass. The game with some more, more field in front of them, that would be interesting. That was uh, Javante Stanley to run that again. Bellbeck's in trouble right now. He's going to launch it out way back in the end zone. And they're going to say that's a touchdown. What a catch by Marcus Hogel. But Bellbeck with a Hail Mary toss after it looked like the Skyhawks had him at his mercy at their mercy, rather, and his long bomb of a pass finds the end zone. Hogel reaches up and hauls it in. That was really impressive by Belbeck there. I mean, you saw him. He was running backwards through off of his back foot into the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. That's a really impressive display of uh, poise and athleticism there. An early lead for the Hurricanes on the back of Belbeck. Yeah, there you see, he has to kind of hold off the Skyhawks defense with his left arm, and nobody took Marcus Hogel, who was deep in the end zone. Running in there late was Thomas Robinson, but too late. Six points on the board, they're gonna make it seven here if they can complete the junior and senior ranks. And again, this uh, to have this come together, a Canadian Junior Football League team was all him. There's a nice pass there where the ball just drops out of the hands of the intended receiver. That was Jack Kelly. What a pass by Stevens, though. He did everything right on that play, Ryan, but Jack Kelly couldn't just couldn't quite hold up his end of the bargain. Yeah, and if you're a player in that position, you are kicking yourself. You saw all that open field, and maybe he just got a little bit excited when he got the ball. I mean, look at that. Great throw by Stevens. Hits him right in the hands, and maybe he got a little spooked seeing the guy waiting there for him, but it's like, oh, you know, you want that one back so bad, so regroup and try and happen, make it happen again, rather. Yeah, that was Malcolm Miller with the hit for the Hurricanes. Set it up again, Stevens. Looks up, long range pass. This is gonna be tough, it's caught. Nice grab by Casimir, first down Skyhawks, and Nathan Casimir comes up with it, and he is pumped after that for good reason. And this is part of that growth that we're talking about. I mean, I don't think I saw them throw the ball further than 15 yards, say, in the first game of the season. Now in the first game of the second half of the season, he's slinging it. I mean, that's back-to-back -back plays where he's thrown it 20-plus yards upfield. Great yeah. throw by Stevens. He's yeah, that is gritty stuff. And, you know, must be a, must be tough for them to get in. There's a nice interception grabbed by Robinson. That is a great stroke of luck. The receiver slipped on the play. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was watching that one live. We'll take another look. I don't even think the defender was ready to catch this. It just fell into his hands. Yeah, Robinson didn't have his <laughs> arms out, and then all of a sudden the ball comes at him, and he's got to adjust quickly as he's sliding. That was amazing. I mean, the, the receiver, unfortunate play there, slipping, but the ball quite literally just sailed right into his arms. So, great stroke of luck. Go into a quick halftime break. I mean, this is not a bad spot for this team to be. This is the number eight team in the country right now. Uh, they're going to take a quick break, regroup, figure it out. Nine nothing is not a bad place to be in, and there's definitely a chance to come out strong in this second half. Um, so keep getting into the backfield and take a quick break, get the guys energized. I'm, I'm excited to see what the coach instills in them, and. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be right back after the half on this Your TV Quinty Skyhawks broadcast from Loyalist College. We're back for the second half of the Quinty Skyhawks and the Hamilton Hurricanes here in Ontario Football Conference. CJFL action today. So far, 
pretty good game for the Skyhawks. I mean, we've seen some miscues for sure, uh, an interception right before the half. Uh, but 9 nothing, not a bad place to be against the eighth-ranked team in the country as we get started here in the second half on the uh, hurricane side of the field. It'll be a first down, fresh set after the personal foul as Baronet rolls out and throws that one no wide pass. open. Ross with the grab. Beautiful patch by David Ross. And he came awfully close to getting in and breaking that plane. What a job by number one. But Baronet coming off the sidelines, making an incredible toss-up. See that one again, great job on the bootleg and Ross is wide open. I'm not sure what his defender was doing, but oh boy, that's that's a bad give if you're the Hurricanes here and now the Skyhawks are looking about ready to punch this one in. I think they're rolling out the jumbo package. Yeah, that's an exciting play and that really got everybody's heart racing, but <laughs> David Ross, that's the, mo that's the most I've seen the guy smile, I think, uh, all this time. <laughs> you see, he's, uh, you know, trying to get his heart rate down, and he's, he's got the big uh, smile plaster in his face. What a pass by Baronet. Now they'll look to run it in. Mizowich has an opening. Touchdown, Skyhawks. He's in there. First TD of the season for Adam Mizowich, and it's 9-6 for the Hurricanes. Yep, just plain good O-line blocking there. I mean, if you're Mizowich, you're, you're, you're going to give them some extra thanks. They opened up a huge gap for him there. I mean, that's just plain and simple. That's good football. Yep, and Adam Mizowich, after all uh, this time, running the ball really well, leading the team in carries and yardage, and finally he gets his chance, and he makes good of it. Really no touch at all from the Hurricanes defense there. Well, there you go. If you're the Skyhawks, you got to be stoked now. They're going to get this extra point here, and now it'll be a 9-7 game, which is more interesting for sure. Yeah, Skyhawks finally on the board, and, and they feel like they're in this game, obviously, now after that kick, that monitoring Shot. Allen deep in the end zone. There's Gralbeck faking the handoff ball block there. What a job by Gonzalez getting in there and knocking that one away. Greg Gonzalez has a sack and now a block pass in this game. Exceptional work done by the defense. And we just talked about it. We've talked about it all day. This Skyhawks team has done a really good job of getting after the quarterback, and you see it again right there. Another pass swatted down. Yeah, that's that's great. And uh, just pushing the hand up. Then, like they, they haven't really uh, been too bad, and today it's been looking uh, very nice for them. Baronet's going to run it out. Kyle Baronet gets brought down near the yard marker. Now here's an interesting conundrum. They're probably within, I would say at most three feet, maybe even, or sorry, yards, three yards, maybe even two yards from that first down. You need a score. There's nine minutes left, so you'll get the ball back a couple times, but do you go for it here if you're head coach? Yeah, that's going to be the, uh, the, the desperately need and the worst way a defensive stop, another one. And they're going to get it here. Ball comes loose. They got a chance to pick it up, and they do. But a foot comes down, and the Skyhawks recover the football. How about that for a fortunate break? Cornelius Brown Jr. picks up the fumble, and all of a sudden the Skyhawks now sit and uh, just past the midfield. Once again, this defense is playing savior for the Skyhawks team today. What an incredible display of guts by this team. And now they've given the offense one more chance to get this touchdown that they so desperately need. Can't wait to see what they draw up here. It's going to be a great finish. The end zone here, and they need a score here big time. You've got two minutes on the clock. This is a huge gut check for this team. This is a big moment. It's a long throw too. Gilbert Thibault can flag on the play. That'll be a. Yeah, I think that's defensive pass interference. Nope. The <laughs> Hurricanes coaches not happy Upset, about that yeah. one, wanting the, the same treatment. I guess they say that they deserved the call, the the earlier, sorry, the defensive pass interference call when they were near or in the end zone and. Now they this is huge, Stevens. Oh, he bounced the ball, and it's going to be picked up, and the Hurricanes will get away. This is 98 to 2 Onyekwere. Touchdown, Hurricanes, and that is going to virtually put this game out of reach for the Skyhawks. That's a really unfortunate
Stevens take the snap, and as soon as he went to throw that ball, and it comes back to the weather, as soon as he moved his arm to throw it, it just slipped right out of his hands. There's only a few seconds left. The Skyhawks will set up. The siren will go. Hurricanes take a knee, and that will be the end of it. It's a, a two-possession win for the Hamilton Hurricanes, 21 to seven, but the Quinney Skyhawks certainly had uh, one of their better games, more consistent games, and easily their most consistent here at home, Ryan. Uh, for myself, Ryan Pettigrew, and my coworker here, Brock Ormond, we thank you for joining us for this Your TV broadcast of Skyhawks football, live from Loyalist Field. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for joining us.